And from that report, we'll bring you the story of another Nigerian making waves around the world. That's on Check Me Out. Uh, Chinasa Amadi is a UK certified weight loss coach, nutritionist, and lifestyle medical doctor. Our goal is to ensure the health and well-being of all. Let's check her out. I'm such a planner, but I try my best to live as if I won't see tomorrow. Hello, Privet. Ndewo, Sonu, Eleo. My name is China Samadi. I'm a medical doctor, lifestyle medicine physician. Check me out. So my childhood was pretty basic. Nothing gang, nothing out of the ordinary. One time when I was in JS1, I had this friend that she fell from the up bunk and she fell down to the ground. And uh, in the morning I came to school and I saw her and I was like, oh my God, Scholar, what happened to you? And um, she's like, she fell from the bed. I'm like, don't worry, come. My mom is a doctor and she's go we're going to treat you and I'm going to be a doctor too. So I, I, I know what we'll do to help you. And I actually took her home to my house and my mom had to make me understand that, okay, it's not everybody that is sick that you bring to the house. It's just, uh, there's a protocol. What took me out of the country? Uh, I went to study medicine. I was already in school here for a while, however, uh, there was a lot of instability, so I decided to go to Russia, so um, I just went to study medicine there. The cold that hit me the moment I stepped outside the airport, meanwhile they told us it was cold, so we carry jackets from Nigeria, you know, I was like, oh, no problem, we're ready for this, but the cold was not what I was expecting. I didn't experience a lot of uh, racism because uh, there, it was a... Uh, 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 an international school, so there were a lot of people from different nationalities there, and uh, the, the citizens were a bit receptive. A lot of them spoke English, they had traveled, they were well traveled, so it wasn't um, really difficult that way. Nigerians are pretty, um, people are becoming intentional with the fitness life, people are becoming intentional with staying healthy. You can you go on the on the roads early in the morning and you see people are taking the streets, going, they are jogging. But usually I always say, well, after all that, I hope you're covering it up with eating right. And then I show them routines. I, I, I say you can always exercise wherever you are, in your workplace, at home. Just play music and dance. If that's all you want to do, just play music and move your body. How I give back. So I'm a partner at an, an NGO called Train Tarot Charity Organization. We give back um, to the indigent members of the, our community. We provide free medical outreaches. We help those uh, from poor homes to go to school. We, we have some students in school, primary, secondary, and even in the university. And we also give help with skill, skill acquisitions for widows. One of the philosophies I live by is plan your life as if you live forever. However, live your life as if you won't see tomorrow. I'm China Samadi, medical doctor, lifestyle medicine physician, and you just checked me out. Fantastic work, Dr. Chinasa. I am inspired. Let's now run you through a quick reminder of our top story today. As the number of coronavirus cases increase in Nigeria, citizens have been encouraged to wash their hands regularly and practice social distancing. That has been our package on the program today, but we want you to keep in touch. So connect with us on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. You can also get more updates from bbc.com forward slash Africa and channelstv.com. Thanks a lot for staying with us on the program. I am Wally Fakile. Goodbye. <laughs>